there you have it. How gorgeous is this, you guys? Well, hello everyone, I am back. Now you may notice that the surroundings happen to be a little different today than the usual London, ladies and gents. Today, I am live from my hometown in Killarney, County Kerry, in the southwest of Ireland. And I just wanted to bring you back an amazing nostalgic trip for me. Uh, this is where it all began for me as a tour guide in this amazing house. So today's little walk, it's just going to be around one area in Killarney here called Mocker's House and Gardens. Now, just a little bit of background about Killarney. It's one of the top tourist destinations in Ireland. We are so fortunate with our 32,000 acre national park and three lakes here in Killarney, the upper, middle and lower lake. Right now, we're going to be seeing today the middle lake, which is called Mocker's lake which means the bay of pigs it would have been an area full of wild boar and deer in times gone by we still have a massive amount of deer on the national park but more on that to come shortly about the wild native irish red deer and the japanese imported sika deer but this brings me back in time ladies and gents my obsession with queen victoria began here so happy i can show you around my actual hometown london i live in but this is home in Ireland. So today we're gonna to start a little trip around Muckers House and Gardens. I'm gonna give you all the history of it. Oh my God, I really do hope I remember it. It's 20 years old, my history. So delighted you can join me, Sinead here in Ireland for a change. Hope you enjoyed the tour, you guys. Stay tuned, loads of info to come. I'm gonna be showing you some highlights of my amazing town here in Ireland. I am currently on vacation, but of course I have to bring you guys with me. Stay tuned. Right, folks, now look at this for an entrance and that amazing house. Now, this is Muckers House. Muckers House and Gardens are a world-renowned tourist site here in Killarney. You're going to see some spectacular scenery today. And the only bit of traffic that we will encounter along the way are what are called jaunting cars here in Killarney. Now, these jaunting cars have been here for over hundreds of years in Killarney. This is the novel way for tourists to get around. So they'll take you on a little pony and trap card. These guys are full of local history. They're great characters, full of wit and enthusiasm for their job. We'll meet a couple of them along the way, um, but it's a lovely idea. They'll take you on a lovely trip towards the waterfall, which is where we're gonna make our way today. Now let's start with the house though. The first family to live on this estate were the Herbert family. Now they've been here since the 17th century, but this house itself was built in 1843, completed in 1843. Stunningly beautiful inside. You can take a tour inside. Now, even though I used to work there, you do have to get special position, uh, permission from the government or the public works to film inside. So there's more to see outside anyway, but I'll tell you all about it. We'll throw, we'll throw up a few links to inside the house as well. Now, the stunning mansion was built for the Herbert family. Uh, Mary Herbert, Lord Herbert's wife. Now, he was a member of Parliament in Westminster, actually. She was a very famous watercolourist, and her work is exquisite, and you'll see a lot of her work inside. But in 1861, they had a very special visitor here to the estate, and that visitor was Queen Victoria, and she arrived for a three-day visit to the house in 1861. Now preparations actually took place for 10 years. This was a huge distinctive honor for the Herbert family uh, to experience a royal visit. Now she brought, I believe about three of her 10 children with her. Um, the entire wing of the house was built, especially for Queen Victoria. Uh, apparently he inherited all these Persian carpets, silk Japanese, silk curtains, all to um, enhance the visit of Queen Victoria. Preparations took 10 years. What actually happened is he ended up bankrupted. He uh, was essentially hoping to become a member of parliament. He thought he'd get some form of a knight. Well, he was a member of parliament, my apologies, but he was expecting some form of a knighthood, which never came. The visit actually bankrupted him and he sold the house in 1899. Now, these are the gardens around the front, so just bear with me, I'm gonna be showing you some of the other amazing features of the house here. So in 1899, the house was sold to a chap called Lord Ardalon. He was a member of the Guinness family, Arthur Guinness, and he bought it as a hunting lodge. 
for weekend visits of his friends and family that come here hunting on the estate and shooting of course and fishing. The estate itself is 13 and a half thousand acres and now it's part of the Killarney National Park because not long after in 1929 Lord Ardalon, the house was bought by an American Californian couple who had made their money in Californian gold mines, the Bowers Bournes, and they actually bought the house as a wedding gift for their daughter Maud, who was to become Maud Vincent. And Maud Vincent married a chap called um, William Vincent, Willie Vincent, Billy Vincent, and this was their wedding gift. So that was some gift. Oh, Arthur Vincent, my apologies, I'm getting it all incorrect. It's been so long, you guys, since I guided in here. I was hoping I'd remember it, and I hope I'm getting it right. Anyway, Maud died very suddenly at the tender age of 42. And Mr. Vincent was so devastated at the death of his wife, they eventually ended up donating the entire property and the surrounding gardens to the government. So for the pleasure and for the use of the people of Killarney and the surrounding areas. Now it's a huge portion of the Killarney National Park. Now you can see directly in front of you, that's one of the lakes here, the famous lakes in Killarney. This is the middle lake, or Muckras Lake, the Bay of Pigs Lake. I will be showing you some of the upper lake and the lower lake. The lower lake is known as the Lake of Learning. Uh, it's where the Annals of Inishfallen were written on the island by Ross Castle. So I'm gonna bring some little guests with me tomorrow, my little cousins and my nieces and nephews will be arriving. They want to make an appearance on YouTube. So straight over there, ladies and gents, that huge mountain you see in the distance, that's Tommy's Wood. And that's one of the largest and oldest oak woods in the world. And a heritage site, and it's a preserved area, of course, but some of the oldest oak trees on the planet are in that very mountain. So if you are enjoying the tour so far, go ahead and click that like and share button and help others discover this video. And for more virtual tours of London and beyond, consider subscribing to our channel. Be sure to visit our website to learn more about our in-person tours and London travel tips. We also offer live and virtual tours in cities throughout the world. You can help support this channel by donating through the thanks button or by buying your tour guide a pint or a cup of coffee. Links to do so are in the description below. Now back to the tour. We'll be taking a little walk through the gardens in a moment. We're looking directly now at Torque Mountain and we will be heading in the Torque direction because there's a stunning waterfall there and steps you can take to the top of the mountain to get an amazing panoramic view around Killarney. And the mountain there behind the tree straight ahead of you is Mangerton Mountain. But I just want to show you over here the sunken garden. Now, this is when I heard about Queen Victoria, actually, when I worked in here. This is where my mild obsession with her, to be fair, actually began because of her visit to Ireland. I mean, she was very well received. Her and her ladies-in-waiting went on a little trip around Killarney. There's another beautiful place. It's called Ladies' View in homage to Queen Victoria. And I'll just take you around here, this stunning sunken garden. But apparently she had an irrational fear of fire as well. So this entire wing of the side of the house was built here, especially for Queen Victoria. And if you take a look at the side here, you will see this fire escape that was actually built on especially for her. And apparently they were, she only stayed here for one night, by the way, and she ended up bankrupting Mr. Herbert, that wasn't Queen Victoria's fault, of course. And this is the fire escape, and this would have been her wing of the house. Now, the fire escape was attached to her bedroom, stunningly beautiful in there. And apparently there were two fire brigade engines were on duty for 24 hours during her visit. But right now what I want to do is, I'm going to bring you down. This is such a trip of nostalgia for me. I had so much fun working in here. This is where my guiding career began and we take large groups around this beautiful, beautiful house. And I had the best friends and the best years of my guiding life before I left Killarney for bigger fields, like New York, Tenerife, and of course, presently London. But look at this beautiful garden, you guys. And this is only a small portion of the gardens we're about to see right now. Now, the National Park, of course, is patrolled by the rangers here, do a great job. There's over 850 native Irish red deer on the park. The Sika deer 
is much bigger in numbers and that was introduced to the park I believe in around 1895 to encourage breeding because obviously hunting would have been commonplace at the time and to preserve the red deer they actually brought the seeker in for hunting purposes now the seeker tend to breed quite rapidly so there is a massive amount of them and during times of COVID in the last year or so they've become very very socialized and they've come a little further towards the town and are becoming let's not say a nuisance I don't want to say nuisance but alas they are making their presence felt shall we say publicly all over so we're going to take a little trip down here through these stunning gardens which are very well maintained now by the Department of uh, Heritage here in Ireland as it's government owned now it's a quick mention as well they do have the Mockers traditional farms here and sorry now it's exceptionally windy so you can also visit into the farmhouses and see how the local farmers lived at the time and they even have ladies in the house the farmers ladies and we call them Ben on Tees here in Ireland woman of the house Ben on Tees and they will be cooking bread and baking bread and you'll see all the animals you have the small medium and the larger size farms blacksmiths forge as well now in the basement of Mucker's house it's a wonderful craft center featuring book binders potters and weavers so the craft store on this magnificent estate also features some amazing goods that are all made in house and in store now one of the biggest threats to the park at the moment is rhododendron stunningly beautiful when it's in full bloom but the problem with rhododendron it tends to strangle out the um, the bed of vegetation and the sun can't get in so it's actually tends to strangle out any of the other plants or the vegetations in the area so it's a huge arduous task that is usually taken on board by a lot of locals will um, offer their services and they have to keep cutting it and burning it because it keeps regrowing but look at some I'm only showing you a portion of these gardens today you guys and what I want to show you is where we used to come as kids we always came around here because you can actually swim in the lakes in Mokris Lake now there's only certain lakes that you can swim in obviously because there's a lot of holes in the bottom of the lakes and uh, some are forbidden for swimming in but Mokris Lake or the area I'm going to bring you is a little mini beach it's called Dundag and this is where as groups of 20 of us would take our bikes and fly down here as young kids and swim in the lakes and swim home then cycle home then late for dinner as always when we used to get some nice summer evenings in Killarney but look at these lovely little gardens all in the area now I'm not walking in front of the lake yet but I'll show you plenty of the lake very shortly but these lovely little secret spots for picnics and these are the stunning flowers that are all in bloom here hard work for all the gardeners in the area But they really do do an absolutely fabulous job of maintaining the gardens do you know I'm kind of getting lost myself it's been so long since I've been down here but I know we can head through the trees and down oh yes we're going to take the path down here because I want to show you the beautiful little boat house as well and particularly Dundag which is our little private beach for swimming in now there's also an arboretum here ladies and gents where you can visit if you are interested in various species of trees in the area you can head to the arboretum area look at these lovely little pathways you guys how pretty is this so this is my vacation but vacation means I'm at home and it's not usually a vacation I have so many members of my family but it's fabulous to see them all but it's, it's very busy let's say there's a lot of parties and we have a christening coming up as well this week and we had a very sad occasion I am going to dedicate this video to my uncle Declan who recently passed away so but he's happier where he is now so anyway we'll move on from that subject we don't want to get emotional so um, I'm gonna head down here and I want to take you down towards the boathouse 
Now, people in Crowley would not be familiar with people doing YouTube videos, so I am getting a rather few strange looks. At least in London nowadays, it's kind of commonplace. But we're going to connect on to the path here. So this place attracts millions of visitors every year, ladies and gents. Coach loads of tourists from all over the world will come and take a tour of the house. The farms are very popular with families. And also you can take the buggy ride. But this is all free of charge and technically the property of Killarney people. So the only thing you'd have to pay, they do joint tickets for the traditional farms and a ticket for Muckers House itself. So you can visit both when you're here. And there's a wonderful restaurant and craft store where you can buy all your handmade pottery and handmade weaver's goods, beautiful binding of books. And it's just a little um, support for independent businesses in the area and they really do a great job. But alternatively, what you could do is take a little trip along the lakes on one of the jaunting cars. So you can take another little walk up here. That'll bring you towards Torque Waterfall and the boathouse. You can get boat trips from Dinah's Cottage. Now the meeting of the waters is where the three lakes of Killarney meet. And that would be the middle, upper and lower lakes. But I'm gonna keep going this direction even though they're telling us to go that way for Torque. Because I'm gonna show you, very windy right now, but I'm right by the lake, you guys. So I'm going to give you some beautiful views of the lakes along the way. Now, over the years, there's been a lot of issues with... Oh, very windy. Just bear with me. Horse manure all over the roads. But in the last 10 to 15 years, they actually introduced nappies for the horses. I mean, to be honest, we kind of got used to it as Killarney residents, the smell of horse manure because of the jaunting cars literally travel through everywhere. And there's a gorgeous little boathouse down here. I'm going to bring you down here very briefly for a quick minute. But definitely make this on your bucket list. If you come to Ireland, you have got to visit Killarney. Now, as I say, I'm doing little highlight tours of all the beautiful scenery here in Killarney not just Muckers House and Gardens, but I'll bring you to Ladies View. I'm going to show you Torque Waterfall. We'll hopefully maybe see the Gap of Dunlow. We're going to Ross Castle in the morning with the kiddies. Now this brings back some memories here. This was one of our famous favourite trees to climb as kids and it's lovely to see they're still at it. We'll just take you down here to the little old boathouse nature trail. Now, when you arrive at Mokris House and Gardens, you will also see a visitor centre and they can sell you a booklet and all the wonderful walks that are, are nature trails that are in the area. But let's just take you down here to the boathouse. Yes, it's one part of it. Oh my God, I haven't been down here myself in years, ladies and gents, so this is quite exciting. You can take boat trips over to the islands and around. So let's see, scenic boat tours to Meeting of the Waters, where the three lakes meet, which is another beautiful area. And it's £10 one way or return. Children £5 one way or return. Wow, so it's the same price to do a round trip. Now, anything could happen down here. These boys could have a quick chat. Do I know them? I'm not sure I do. But I just want to give you an amazing view. That's the beauty of working around here with the camera. They all, I do will recognize a lot of people will know me. So, so just to show you, we can get a little boat tour here with the boys. That'll take you out. But I am going to bring you down to see the little bay as well. Muckers Gardens. So along here, some of the old pebble stones. Now this was our favourite little beach. I still think my niece was telling me as well 
that there are gangs of young kids still coming down here at 14 and 15, which is lovely to see. So we'd cycle our way down this little corner. And as soon as we hit the boathouse, we knew we were very close to swimming in the lakes. You do, I do forget how fortunate I am to be from one of the most beautiful parts of the world. Killarney is such an amazing place, folks. And it's also very lively by night. And I plan on taking you around during the night time. Uh, we have a lot of outdoor dining now. So it makes it almost Parisian-like or like little boulevards or the outdoor dining of Italy and it's very European looking so but it's stunning in the sunshine now today's weather is so sporadic it's insane in the next five minutes it could literally go completely dark and lash out of the heavens so I timed it where I could get just one hour of beautiful weather I'm really excited about going down here. It's been a while. So we're going to be turning right here in a minute through the woods. And if you just head straight along then this direction, well, we're going to go up this way to the waterfall. Now, here we go. I can still feel the, the butterflies in my stomach when we used to arrive here. Literally about 20 of us on our bikes. We'd lock them up here by this tree, coming up and head down straight into the water and stay here for about six or seven hours, having the time of our lives. Lives were so simple back then. Now it's going to be super windy by the lake, so I'm going to hold my microphone under and just maybe show you. Gorgeous as this, you guys. It's like this guy is preparing for a dip. Let's do a quick little panoramic for you. head right up to the water's edge. I just want to give you a really good view. Look how pretty it is. Okay, so that's super windy. I'm going to make my way back into the woods and we're going to have a little short walk towards Torque Waterfall. So this is our idea of tropical beaches, but it's free. It's ours. We're happy with it. Now the land is protected. The 32,000 national um, acres of national park here in Killarney can never be built on. This will be here and preserved for centuries and centuries. And this is what it makes it such a beautiful place to live. The freedom to walk these parks day or night.
Now you guys, so that's the majority of the walk from Muckers House and Gardens. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take a stroll towards Torque Waterfall. But apart from walking through the woods, there's really not an awful lot to see. So I'm going to be right back with you as soon as I get to that area. But just to show you when you do visit, this is the path you would take straight up here and follow the signs for Torque Waterfall. So I'm going to enjoy my little walk, you guys, and I'll be right back with you. So I've just come out of the woods along that path I was showing you to take to the waterfall but I just want to show you this you guys and this is what greets you when you come across and you make your way along a path straight ahead of you there you will see the jaunting car as we call them heading across and we're heading to this mountain here to Torque Mountain because there is also another place I worked, you guys. There's a little information center right at the bottom of this garden. So this is a far cry from the crazy manic streets of London. This was my journey to work every day along this path straight over to Torque Mountain. And right at the foot of the mountain is the most incredible waterfall with beautiful Irish spring water flowing from it. Now it's been exceptionally heavy rain so the waterfall will be bursting at the seams and it's always a beautiful sight to behold. So we're going to make our way just along this path and that will bring us back onto the main path and we'll be following those jaunting cars. Now jaunting car drivers in Killarney Town are known as Jarvies and as I said they're a wealth of knowledge folks and wit and enthusiasm and fun and handy helpful tips for you as well you can negotiate the price with them but it's always a lot of fun to take a jaunting car as well but just look at this lake scene here you guys as we're coming back out onto the main road getting a lot of abuse not abuse a lot of requests for me to stop referring to you all as you guys or ladies and gentlemen unfortunately that's a force of habit so I may just refer to you as you from now on if that's okay so when you are walking along this path here it takes you forward then to the mountain but look at that for scenery isn't it beautiful you guys now we're just going to speed up the walk here for you but just so as you can see how stunning the area is and how fortunate I am to be from here and get to be here four or five times a year as often as I can. So we'll speed it up. I'll bring you to the foot of the waterfall and the information booth in just a moment.
Here's some of the local residents, you guys. This is the famous Kerry cow. These cows here are on the estate. They're the life of luxury they're leading. So we have a cycle track on one side and the pony and trap on the other. So to avoid any confusion, I'm walking in the middle on the green. Now I'm nearly there. This is the electric fence in case you're worried if the cows can get out to you. Indeed they can't. Now we're heading to this mountain here. Now we've resumed at the end of the path and we're going to head up here. So that's a very popular walk, uh, drive with the jaunting car from Mucker's house along here to the waterfall and you'll hear the stream beside me. Now we do cross the main road up here. So if you do make your way up here and you decide you'd like to take a rest on the way back to your car, which will be in the car park on the Muckers House Estate, but there's also a car park here at the waterfall. This is just, I think, a pretty walk, but you can access both with your car. If you decide you'd like to take a pony and trap back, this is where you would pick it up. The jaunting cars are all stationed right here across the main road. So we're going to head across and under the bridge and over this direction. So you'll see the main sign across the road there. So this is what the boys do all day, every day. What a great job, you guys. They take the people out on trips all along the lakes. It's quite territorial, actually, because you'll have the mucker side and then you have the Killarney Jarvies in town and they all stick to their own little sides actually. As I said, it's quite territorial. So we're gonna make our way across the main road here. There's one coming up behind me again. The one here in the corner. So that will connect you back to the house, but we're gonna cross over if we can, right here into the Chalk Waterfall car park, you, look, you guys. Now, you, oh, you have the hop on, hop off bus as well, you guys. This is the newest addition to Killarney. That'll take you to make all the major hotspots if you're looking for transportation as well. But I think always the best way to do it is by foot. Now, this is usually a very busy road, you guys. But just be careful when crossing. Let me show you my old workplace. Just right up here. I wonder is it open? I hope it is. It'd be great to be able to get inside. All oh, the memories are flooding back, folks. I was very young in my 20s at that stage working on this estate. And this was my little office. I used to come here on my own, sit in there all day giving information to tourists about how to get to the waterfall, how to get to the top of the mountain, what walks to take, what shoes they needed, whether they should bring their bikes. Let's have a look. The waterfall is about 200 meters up now, so bear with me a sec. I just want to have a little nostalgic trip down memory lane. Oh, my little office, you guys. So this is the type of fish, of course. The Arctic char and county carrier of interest. It's a big fishing area as well. There's a lot of eel, Arctic char, brown trout, salmon in the area. But this is our next direction. We're gonna make our way up towards the waterfall. Stay tuned. You're gonna love it up here, you guys. It's about a five minute walk, we'll let these ladies come through.
come around here. It's been a while since I've been up here too, folks. But it's worth the wait, I promise. The beautiful but, woods. Um, How could you not come through here? always being a bit sarcastic with me <laughs> even he knows I'm I say hi guys now this isn't great for bikes I recommend you leave your bike at the visitor center and then you take a little walk 200 meters up so this is the stream that's flowing from the waterfall. A lot of families around at the moment. Now we're very close. Through the trees. Now look down here you guys Show you just over here. <laughs> now it's super busy up here, but I'll make my way around them. I think the whole of Ireland is in Clarny right now. It is a big vacation spot for Irish people and families and a lot of staycationers at the moment as well. But we get this place to ourselves all year round, you guys. Oh, this is the icing on the cake there. I've seen more people slip up here. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> so this is worth waiting for. See how stunningly beautiful it is up there? Yeah, it's not a waterfall, you guys. Now, just so as you know, for the more adventurous of you, you can take these steps the whole way up to the top of the mountain and get some wonderful views along the way. So here you have it. I think those people are quite crazy down there, getting their picture. I've seen more people fall there over the years. So it is a little busy. I'm going to get out of here, you guys, but that's the basis of it. So that's part A of our series of Killarney tour. Stay tuned. A lot more to come. Muckers House and Gardens and Tork Waterfall today, you guys. I'll see you all in the morning with another bunch of kiddies. My own nieces and nephews and little cousins and best friends' kids are going to feed the ducks 
and we're going to head to Ross Castle. As always, thanks for joining me, Sinead here with Free Tours by Foot Island, incidentally. Super busy day, but good to see everyone out and about and enjoying nature for a change. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. More to come, small little short videos in the next few days. Delighted to bring you on vacation with me. Signing up, Sinead in Killarney, Ireland. Bye.